Welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So as you can see by today's title, I am going to be filming my go-to look. You guys, this video is way long overdue. I've been meaning to do this video since like last year, December, uh, and I literally just kept putting it off. And I don't know why, because it's such a simple, such a simple look. So yes, you guys, it is finally, finally here i hope you guys enjoy this um, tutorial and let's go ahead and get started oh i can't put my hands up because i don't think i shaved all right you guys so i already have my brows done as usual i do them off camera because it saves time um so for primer today i'm going to be using the benefit the professional come on focus this one the pink one the pink one the one that's like a pearl primer i recently discovered this in my collection it was sitting there for the longest and i just never used it and then i just put it on and i like it it just really honestly it blurs it fills in pores i don't really have a pore issue per se but i do like my pores looking super 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 um gone pull this back a little bit i'll put a little bit of this right here so whenever i'm doing like my everyday look i usually do foundation first you guys know i'm an eyeshadow first type of girl but when it's like every day um i usually don't do eyeshadow i usually just put bronzer in my crease so for foundation today i'm gonna be using the nar sheer glow lately i've been really into this you guys know i've said it in like my past videos but i love the dior forever the matte foundation but i like to use that foundation like when you know when i'm like you know really really doing something but this is like my chill chill type of foundation and i will mix it in with the juvia's place foundation if i really want it long wear so like if i'm going to be out for a couple of hours i'll mix these two together if i'm just going to be you know a couple of hours not too long by itself and honestly i'm not going anywhere today so i'm just going to use this by itself i am in the shade macau hold up hold up hold up i think i got a backup of this i think so anyways i'm using a beauty blender to put on my foundation it's my preference um I don't know, like brushes. I can use a brush, but I just prefer a beauty blender. Let me get our forehead. Okay, so I know that this is considered a makeup don't, but I really don't care. I go over my eyes a little bit because if you leave it blank, it just looks all veiny. But the reason why I'm able to get away with this is because when I do, I'm gonna show you guys what I do, but I don't leave it just like this. But even if, even if I didn't do what I did, I'm not going to just not put anything there. Like, I got to put some type of foundation. Like, it just looks weird. Like, everything's foundation and then you just see, it just looks odd. I don't know. I don't like it. Yes. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Concealer. I've actually really been liking this since my review. I have been using this pretty consistently. Um, and I do like it. Um, the way I build up the coverage is I let it sit there for a while. So, I'm in the color 16. And I'm just going to go ahead and slather this on because... I like coverage and honestly this look mm, usually when I'm doing like a full full face it takes about an hour this if I'm not talking and I'm like in my zone like 30 minutes or less and I and I can really make it less than that if I cut certain things out like if I don't do the false lashes um, and whatnot so you can take this and make it your own honestly just find ways to cut down time. The reason why it's even 30 minutes is because it takes me about 10 minutes to just do my brows. Hence why I don't do it on camera, you guys. Like, it just, it takes me a while. Like, I really gotta like, fill them in. If you already have naturally full brows, um, this should take you even less time. Mm -hmm. Now, while this is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, um, I need to put glue on my lashes. Okay, you guys, so I have my lashes. They are currently drying down. <laughs> And now I'm going to show you guys what I do for my eyes. Pay close attention. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fenty Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. I love this. And I'm taking this um, Morphe blending brush. You can take any blending brush. Uh, the number has wiped off. So wait. Eh, I don't know. M533 or something like that. Anyways, I'm taking this. I'm going to tap off the excess. And I'm just literally going to put this in my crease. Like... This is all that I do. And I don't use an eyeshadow primer. I sure don't. And it lasts all day. So I literally just put this in my crease. 
And that's literally all I do to my crease. And then I'm gonna take this mascara by Marc Jacobs and I'm gonna coat my lashes for um, my falsies. Okay, I think I got enough time to blend out my concealer, but for my, my glue dry. So let's do that real quick. Like, look at this pigmentation, y'all. Like, ooh. And I know some of y'all looking like, girl, that concealer is too light for you. I promise y'all. Promise y'all. It's gonna work itself out. All right, and then to set my concealer, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup There's um, Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna, like, heavily bake. That's it. Okay, I think my I think my lashes. <laughs> I think my lashes are like Whitney. We're ready to go on. Okay, now while we're still baking, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face using the <laughs> Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. If this camera does not focus, like, I'm gonna be so mad. Focus! All I have to do is yell. Okay. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys the lashes that I had on. Um, well, they were given to me by a friend. Like, she gave me a whole bunch of them, so, um, I don't know, but they look very similar to the Lily Lashes in Miami. If you really want them, um, mine, they came in this type of packaging and they're called the D3, D3 A5. I think she said she got them off Ali, no, no, she said she got them off AliExpress. Um, I don't know the vendor. I don't, I need to get the information because I need to, <laughs> I need to re-up on these because these are bomb, but yeah. Okay, now, we're still gonna let the bake sit because, you know, we want the bake to sit. I'm gonna go back into Mocha Mommy, the bronzer. I feel like I said that's so, like, so proper. Mocha Mommy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this underneath. Oh, I gotta zoom y'all in for this. Come on in. All right, so I gotta go ahead and... Okay. And then next, I'm gonna go, you can take any black eyeshadow you have. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Shadow in Blackout. Y'all, this is my baby, like, can y'all see? Like, and I'm using this really, really, like, a lot. Well, this brush, I'm using this brush right here. Oh, I need a, I need a mirror. I need a hand mirror so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so. I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge this really close underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and like blend this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now at this point, um, for my actual waterline, you can do a multitude of things. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing as of late. Usually the safest to go is black, which I usually do black most of the times. Sometimes I might do a nude in the waterline, but I've really been enjoying doing blue. So I've been using the Sephora collection, their um, colorful shadow liner in the color My Boyfriend's Jeans. And I've been using this. It's nothing too, like, I mean, no one notices it. Like, no one notices that I'm wearing blue, like, unless you're really looking. It's just like that little hint in your makeup is like, oh, you have on, you have on blue mascara. I didn't even notice type of thing. So, uh, real low. Y'all see that? Like it's like something, but it's not too much. I like it. Ooh, ooh. I think I put more on this side. I put a little more on this side. Then. Mm hmm. I even this out. Yes, yes. Yoins. And then while we're here. 
we'll go ahead and put on bottom mascara since we're here. Okay, so now we're done with the eyes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna sweep off the excess powder. Now this is something that a lot of people have an issue with is like, okay, with I like to bake, cause you know, I like to bake, but I don't like the white cast that it leaves behind. Like how do I get rid of that? And I've had people come into my store asking, like they're just, they just don't know what to do. First, you wanna try to sweep off all the powder you can, get off. Kinda like that. But y'all still see I look like, I look like I can be like, you know, the distant cousin to Casper the Friendly Ghost. And it's not cute. It's okay, it is okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number five. This just really gives a pretty all over glow. Um, I just put this all over, and it looks like this, by the way, you guys. All right, and then I'm gonna go into another Laura Mercier powder. This is the um, Translucent Medium Deep Glow Powder, the glow one. And I'm gonna go in with my brush, and I'm just gonna put this all over. Now, you guys are still like, well, Whitney, um, <laughs> You still look like you got a little bit of a cast on your face. I know, girl. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you how to get rid of this. So I put this all over. And y'all see how it's kind of, it, for the most part, it's kind of worked. But if you don't have all these extra powders or you don't care to do all of that, what you want to do is setting spray, okay? Setting spray is your best friend. Your best friend. Okay, not your good friend, not your friend, but your best friend when it comes to your makeup, okay? It's not just to set your face like, ooh, okay, it's gonna last longer. No, setting spray is much more, like, so much more. My favorite is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I have, this is, this is my fourth can, okay? This is bomb. If you have not tried this, I think you should really try it. it I don't know, y'all. It makes your skin look like skin with makeup on, okay? So what I do is I just literally go crazy with it. Okay, now you're like, well, Whitney, that's not that crazy. Now, if you didn't do the powders, you wanna go a little bit more crazy. Me, it kind of, I already blended it all out in a way, but yes, essentially, you want, don't be humble. I always tell people this, do not be humble when it comes to your setting spray, okay? Drench your face in it. It's going to dry down. Don't do it like right here, obviously, but you know at the distance, spray it. What your setting spray essentially does is gonna push all that product and melt, well, I don't know if it pushes it in, but it melts it down. So it gets rid of that powdery, cakey look that a lot of people have. Because essentially, you need powder to set your face, especially if you're really oily, especially if you live in a really hot environment like me. So setting spray is gonna really just help melt that powder down. That way you can still use the powder, but you don't get that powdery look. So what did I say? Setting spray is not your friend. She is not your good friend, but she is your best friend. Your best friend, okay? Okay, you guys, so I have, you know, through long thinking and just, you know, deliberation and deciding, I have decided that I am going to join the hot girl movement because these men are foolish period <laughs> okay don't let no man who got cobwebs for a brain try to play you sis okay either you learn the game or you get played and so for blush today i'm gonna be using the mac blush in burnt pepper and i'm gonna go heavy with my blush Y'all could do what y'all wanna do with y'all blush, but I'm gonna put a whole bunch on. I'm gonna pack it on, no, I'm playing. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna subtly put, ooh. So highlighter today, I have really been loving this one still. Like this is Forever Be Bay. This is Max Gold Deposit. This was actually my very first highlighter that I ever bought and I did not know it was a highlighter. I, I just bought it because I saw this one influencer that I used to like really love to watch. And she had it, so I was like, well, I gotta go buy it. But I don't know. I didn't know what to do with it. I just bought it just because. Said I'm torn in between the two. Cause I really wanna be with you. But something's telling me I should leave. 
you alone. It's not it's not something. It's the Holy Spirit telling you you need to leave that man alone. Cause all he gonna do is break your heart. He gonna do wrong. He gonna do you wrong. He gonna do you more wrong and even more and more wrong. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay, Latoya was onto something. She didn't know what it was, but she was onto something. It's the Holy Spirit telling you. You better leave him alone. You better leave him alone. Okay, and then with how simple this look is, you can really do whatever lip you want to do. Um, you know, I'm so hood. Like, literally how I be taking off more the foundation on my lips. This this is so hood. Or, and I would say hood is just, just ratchet, but whatever. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come back to the gloss. I wanna go ahead and do my hair first. So yeah, I'm gonna do my hair first, and then I'm gonna show you this. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Now I'm gonna show you guys what to do for lips. So for lips, you really have the lead way to do whatever you wanna do. Um, you can do a very bold lip. You guys know I'm a gloss girl. Usually I would line with like a brown lip liner, either my NYX Espresso Lip Liner or the BFF 4 Lip Liner by ColourPop, um, and put like any type of nude lipstick with a gloss on. Or when I'm being super lazy, I would just throw on a gloss. Between this one by MAC and the Fenty Glow, I use those glosses quite frequently. This one by MAC is called Oh Baby. The key to lip gloss is you gotta pack it on. Okay, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is my go-to everyday look if I'm wearing makeup and I don't really wanna do much, I do this look. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also leave a comment down below. And lastly, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. And until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.